Till the End of the Moon is one of the most popular Chinese dramas that aired in 2023. Unfortunately, a lot of this show got cut out of the final version, mainly due to the censorship regulations. In this video, I will explain why this popular Xianxia drama got censored. Before Till the End of the Moon even began filming, there were already major regulations implemented by the National Radio and Television Administration, or NRTA. One of the biggest rule changes from this censorship board is limiting the number of episodes to 40 per season for C-dramas. This was done to combat production companies from artificially increasing the episode count of a series so that they can earn more money. With that said, some shows were able to circumvent this limit by splitting into two seasons and then airing them back to back with no noticeable time gap in between. These dramas include Immortal Samsara, The Blue Whisper, and Love Like the Galaxy, all of which aired in 2022. Till the End of the Moon started filming in October of 2021 under the same format. The production crew shot the entire series in five months. They were planning to split the series into two, and then airing them back to back. Till the End of the Moon Part 1 got approval to air by the NRTA in October of 2022. Part 2 also passed review on December of 2022. The first season is expected to contain 34 episodes, while the second season would have the remaining 16, bringing the total to 50. There were previous rumors that mentioned the episode count may have been as high as 58. When the calendar turned over to 2023, the NRTA changed its mind. The organization decided to crack down on the loophole that allows dramas to air seasons back to back. To accomplish this, they introduced a new regulation that mandates a minimum one-year gap between seasons. The production team for Till the End of the Moon had to make a difficult decision. The options were to condense the series into one season of 40 episodes, or to maintain the two-part structure with a year-long gap between airings. Unfortunately, they chose the former. While the production team tried to extend the length of each episode to at least 50 minutes, a good chunk of Till the End of the Moon still got cut due to the censorship board. The biggest casualties are the supporting cast, as they took a back seat to the two main leads, who are played by Bai Lu and Luo Yunqi. For instance, the second lead couple, played by Chen Du Ling and Deng Wei, got very little screen time in the first arc of the drama, angering fans of both actors. Even when they appear in the story, their relationship never developed, and a romantic connection was never really formed between them. In fact, their story was overshadowed by the third main couple, played by Sun Jini and Gung Yi Ting, who also got very little screen time, but was able to make the most out of the allocation. There was also a rumored fourth couple, played by Huang Qin Yao and Li Jia Hao, that may have been removed completely from the show. Huang Qinyao plays the girl who was rescued by Bai Lu's character near the beginning of the story, while Li Jiahao plays the faithful bodyguard to Luo Yunqi's character. Till the End of the Moon is based on a novel, which was actually a lot darker than the drama. For example, the male lead had an even more tormented past, and did way more evil things in the first arc of the story. The female lead was also much more powerful in the novel, as she had a lot of abilities aside from casting simple spells. The male lead even fear her at times. Furthermore, their relationship in the novel was more toxic with a lot of questionable interactions. The Chinese entertainment industry does not have an age rating system. Therefore, shows like Till the End of the Moon needs to be made appropriate for all ages. I wouldn't be surprised if the production team made changes when adapting the book to a TV show from a creative standpoint, even without any input from the NRTA. With that said, I do think the changes made to the male lead are positive, as he became more of a gray-scaled character who can be redeemed. In the novel, some of his actions would have been considered irredeemable to the eyes of many. On the other hand, his actions in the drama had reasons behind them, and his character growth throughout the series was believable. Even with its deleted scenes and other flaws, Till the End of the Moon still managed to captivate many viewers and gained a massive following. Of course, it would have been much improved if the production team didn't have to cut out a large portion of the story because of the censorship board. If you enjoy this investigative video about Till the End of the Moon, then I would be eternally grateful if you click the like and subscribe buttons. 
You might also be interested in my other video discussing a different Bailusi drama, which also ran into issues with the censorship board.